Please rise for the class of 2022 Burleson High School graduates.
Please rise for the playing of the national anthem. bow your heads with me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today to praise you and give you thanks for all these students. We thank you for everyone that you allowed in the class of 2022. We thank you for the many blessings you allowed us to have from our first day of kindergarten to today. As we move from this season to the next, we ask that you continue to bless us no matter which direction you take us in and help us grow and learn from our failures. We thank you for all the blessings you have given us. In your name we pray, amen. amen. Please be seated. Good morning. Good morning, family, friends, special guests, and graduates of the Burleson High School class of 2022. My name is Ashanti Mitchell, and I'm pleased to welcome you to Burleson High School's graduation ceremony. Thank you for honoring our graduates by respecting the great traditions and class of Burleson High School by refraining from noisemakers or anything that might distract from anyone's name being clearly heard. We are so proud of our class and all that we have accomplished. The support, guidance, and love from the people in this room has gotten us to this point, and we thank you. Our big day has finally arrived. Four years ago, we were walking into the school as freshmen, eager to take on our new role as high schoolers. We were trying to figure out who we were and what we wanted to be. Little did we know that would be our last normal school year before we experienced a pandemic and the loss of one of our classmates. If I had to describe the class of 2022 in one word, it would be resilient. We fought to overcome the struggles of online learning, social distancing, and trying to make the most of our high school experience while also trying to cope with the loss of our classmate, Trey. Throughout these trials, we persevered and went on to accomplish great things, not only in the classroom, but in our extracurricular activities too. The spirit of the Elks Band made it to aerial finals, and more specifically, our drumline placed 10th at Worlds. Our Elk football team won back the Battle of the Boot and went on the playoffs. I also want to recognize our classmates that <laughs> made the courageous choice to enlist in the military. We thank you for your service. We have a former classmate that we would like to remember. Trey Allison would have been a senior, and many of us were very close to him. As we go into the next chapters of our lives, let's never forget him. Let's now take a moment of silence to remember Trey. To wrap this up, I would like to say, I will carry the memories of BHS with me for the rest of my life. This isn't just my class, this is my family, thank you. Good morning and welcome to the Burleson High School commencement ceremony. 
It is my honor to welcome our distinguished guests who are here this morning, members of the Burleson ISD Board of Trustees, Ms. Stacy Eisner, Vice President. Mr. Ryan Richardson, Secretary. Mr. Andy Pickens. Ms. Jerry McNair. And Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Brett Jimerson. Thank you for your attendance this morning. At this time, will the graduates wearing bronze, silver, and gold community service medals please stand? Bronze medals signify <laughs> Bronze medals signify the completion of 25 to 49 hours of community service. Silver medals signify the completion of 50 to 74 hours of community service, and gold medals signify the completion of 75 plus hours of community service. This is a significant personal accomplishment, and your effort has provided a great service to our community. Please help me show them our appreciation. All totaled, the class of 2022 has completed over 6,962 hours of community service. Thank you. At this time, will graduates who have enlisted in any branch of the military please stand and be recognized? Thank you for your service. You may be seated. At this time, will students wearing silver cords please stand? These students are our AVID graduates. AVID not only provides this group of seniors support for academic success, but also allowed the opportunity for each one of these seniors to graduate knowing where they want to attend college and how to accomplish future goals. Thank you for all of your hard work in AVID and congratulations. <laughs> On-ramp students participated in a signature initiative from the University of Texas at Austin in which they were provided the chance to earn college credit while engages, engaging in an authentic, rigorous experience. The on-ramp student is enrolled in two separate courses with two separate instructors, a high school teacher and a university faculty member. On-ramp students are empowered to take on the role of a college student and are held to the university's standards of quality, depth, and complexity. On-ramp students, please stand. Twelve years ago, you may be seated. Twelve years ago, Burleson Independent School District began a tradition of recognizing academic achievement using a Latin honor system. Burleson High School is pleased to recognize these students at this time. At this time, will the graduates wearing black, white, and red cords please stand? Laude Honor graduates are wearing black cords. To qualify for this honor, these students have completed the Foundation High School program with an endorsement and a 3.25 to 3.49 GPA on a four-point scale. Yeah. 
Magna cum laude honor graduates are wearing white cords. To qualify for this honor, these students have completed the requirements of the Foundation High School program with the distinguished level of achievement and a 3.0 to 3.49 GPA or foundation program with at least one endorsement and a 3.5 GPA or higher on a four point scale. <laughs> Summa cum laude honor graduates are wearing red cords. To qualify for this honor, these students have completed the requirements of the Foundation High School program with the distinguished level of achievement and a 3.5 GPA or higher on a four-point scale. Please, please join me in recognizing this achievement and honor. You may be seated. At this time, Will our graduates wearing gold cords please stand? These students have completed their graduation requirements with a GPA that places them in the top 10% of their class. Please join me in recognizing this achievement and honor. You may be seated. Now introducing our first student speaker, the student with the third highest GPA, Jim Sangsbang. He, he was involved in the Burleson Band as a clarinet section leader, Boy Scouts, a violist for the Fort Worth Youth, Youth Orchestra, and Model United Nations President, as well as a members of, member of NHS. He attended Hack Elementary, the Academy of Nola Dunn in STEAM Middle School. He will be attending Claremont McKenna College to pursue a degree in international relations. Working towards diplomacy, diplomacy and foreign service, his parents are Jim and Angelica Sangsvang. <laughs> will Mr. and Ms. Sangsvang please stand? And now I present Jim Sangsvang. Good morning, y'all. This day is not one that I ever thought would come, and now that it's here, it feels pretty surreal. First, I'd like to say a few thanks. Firstly, to my cousins, Theos, Theos, and grandparents. Uh, thank you for being a fierce and constant support system. This most definitely would not have been possible without y'all. Second, to all the organizations that I was involved in, including the Burleson Band and Metal United Nations, you all helped me really grow as a person and develop my character. And finally, to my parents and my sister. Without you guys, I would not be standing before you today. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for always being there, ready to talk or answer my questions or debate stupid questions with obsolete answers. I had a really hard time coming up with a solid, meaningful speech. I didn't want to sound cliche or corny, and the added layers of procrastination pushing this speech to be written two days before its deadline definitely didn't help. However, I finally realized that there is no way to guarantee this speech won't be a little cringy, so I might as well just speak directly from the heart and see where it goes. One of my biggest fears is what happens in the future, especially what comes after death. I know this sounds dark and gloomy, just bear with me. But I really think that this all comes down to the fear of not having enough time to do everything and not knowing when that time will run out. I know I speak for many when I say that often, I often worry about what I can and cannot do in a day. I worry about how much work I can get done, when I can nap, when I can do whatever because all my other obligations have been fulfilled. But at the end of the day, right before I go to bed, I think, did I spend my time correctly? I want you all to think about this. How many times do you look back on an experience, a job, an assignment, a chore, and think that was just a complete waste of time? Better yet, how often do you look back at time wasted and think, man, I should have spent that time with my grandma, 
Instead of sleeping an extra two hours, I should have gone and helped my friend get ready for a date. Instead of binging the Twilight Saga, I should have spent time with my sister. Every time one of these instances occurs, we quite frequently reflect on them and wish we had done something different. And often, this occurs once the window for that event or happening has closed, and you can never get that moment back again. I think one of our most prominent examples of this is the fact that we are finishing the longest chapter of our lives thus far. We have grown up with the people you're sitting next to today. Well, maybe not the actual person, but you get what I mean. We've lived within these little bubbles, and in doing so, have created a special dynamic that is all about to change. Whether you're off to college, the service, trade school, a gap year, or entering the workforce, your entire world is about to change permanently. No more calling your friends to go run a Walmart at 11 p.m., much less time spent with your parents bickering or watching movies or going out to eat, which, for some of you, is actually the main goal here. No more waking up in the bed you've slept in your whole life or being surrounded by those you've cherished and loved forever. And at that moment, the first realization that you miss what you took for granted will be our first real lesson in adulthood. And much like our past experiences, the pain of never getting back what we used to have will sting. That's right, right now, I implore you, instead of sitting in your room for two days binging inked, go out and hang out at the mall or walk around outside if you don't want to pay for gas. I get it. Instead of sleeping until 5 p.m., go to the gym or the library or the movies with your family or friends. Spend time doing not what is the bare minimum, but doing things that you will look back and remember fondly, nostalgically, and in a manner that is fulfilling. We can't take these moments for granted because we never truly know when they will stop, no matter how sudden or surprising they are. Because you may blink in that moment, that period, that person will be gone forever. And all you'll be left with is the memory and the feeling of time well spent. The future is fast approaching. And if you have taken away anything from this speech, let it be this. Spend your summer well. Go get out with friends. Spend time with family. Work on self-betterment so that in the future, years from now, you can look back on your past and think those last few moments were well used. I cannot tell you what will come next. I can't tell you what we'll experience or endure. Who will end up where? When is the next time we'll come together again, if we do at all? All I can tell you is this. Do not waste the time you have based on the time long gone and done. Because if the past has taught me anything, it taught me how to spend my present in order to build a better future. Thank you. Our next speaker in 2022 graduate with the second highest GPA is Kaylee Hedrick. <laughs> Kaylee attended the Academy in Nola Dunn and Hughes Middle School. During her high school career, she was a member of the Burleson Band, Vice President of Model United Nations, and a member of the National Honor Society. She will be attending Brandy University, Brand I University, I'm sorry, to pursue a degree in environmental studies. Her parents are David and Jenny Hedrick. Will Mr. and Ms. Hedrick please stand? And now I present Kaylee Hedrick. Good morning. It is such an honor to be standing here before you as your class of 2022 salutatorian. First, I would like to give a few thanks. Thank you to the teachers and friends who have helped me throughout my past years. Thank you to Ms. Lee for your unwavering dedication to your students' education. Thank you to Ms. Pierce for fueling my art, my love for art, and creating a safe space for all. And thank you to the Burleson Band for the many memories, long days, and unbreakable friendships. Next, I would like to thank my family. Thank you to my sister, Brayden, even though you didn't give me a shout out in your graduation speech for always being a role model and giving me something to work towards. I will never forget whenever any teacher read my name on the first day of class, they never failed to ask, are you Brayden's sister? Thank you to my dad for always working to be able to provide for me for my wants and needs. You were the most giving and charitable person I know. And last, but certainly not least, to my mom. You were my... <laughs> You are my 
my forever best friend that I can always ask my most random questions to. I will always FaceTime you and Sophie on the weekends from Boston. When giving the task of preparing the speech, I drew a blank, which is a feeling I'm all too familiar with. It was like the feeling of scramming the day before AP art portfolios are due and attempting to come up with some meaningful idea for a piece to match my already perfected portfolio. This speech is supposed to be the bow on top of my academic career, the payoff for all the hard work I put in these past four years. But just like everything else, I scrambled it together the last day. Whoever said that senior year is the easiest was a liar. <laughs> my senior year was engulfed by the college admissions process. For me and for many others, the decision of choosing the path for the rest of our lives weighed down on us throughout the year. This year was supposed to be the best of my life, where I could be carefree and just enjoy my childhood while I could. But instead, I did whatever it took to get a 97 in my classes, to squeeze out every last point to improve my GPA, and to prove to colleges that I deserved to be there so that I could be in control of my future. I am someone who, before making a purchase, will read every single review and compare the product to every other out there to make sure I'm getting the best use of my time and my money. So choosing the college and major that would be the best use of my time and my money was a tough decision. And yet, I still don't know what I want to do with my future. And I've come to the terms with the fact that that's OK. It's OK not to have everything figured out yet. That's what this time in our lives is for, to try out any and everything, to fail, to get back up again, to find what piques your interest, to find what you love to do, or for some of us, to find what makes the most money. You don't have to know what you're doing or what you're working towards, but you have to keep moving forward. Use the present to learn about yourself and who you are and what you love. As we are rightfully celebrating the first step into the next chapter of our lives, our nation is divided on many topics. The country's economy and people are still recovering from the pandemic, foreign countries are at war, and students, children, are losing their lives at school. Of course, we can say thoughts and prayers to the families and those affected. We can say thoughts and prayers over and over again while nothing is done. But unfortunately, no matter the good intentions behind thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers are useless. Thoughts and prayers will not bring back the lives of those who are taken. Thoughts and prayers will not subside the pain that these families are facing. And thoughts and prayers will not stop children from being terrified of walking into school. As John F. Kennedy once said, our problems are man-made. Therefore, they can be solved by man. I will leave you with this. We are all human. Never forget that. Always strive to see something from a different perspective. Never stop learning and growing. Fight ignorance. And never stop being yourself and doing what you love. Thank you. Last but not least, introducing our final student speaker with the highest GPA in the class of 2022, Fat Lu. Fat attended Taylor Elementary and Hughes Middle School. During his time in, in, at Burleson High School, he was Secretary of the Key Club, Secretary of Health Occupation Students of America, Model United Nations member, and a member of National Honor Society. Fat Lu will be attending University of uh, Texas at Austin. His parents are Khan Lu and Thai Trong. Will both of them please stand up? And now I present to you Fat Lu. Howdy, all you beautiful graduates, parents, and teachers that are here with us today. It is an honor to be able to stand in front of you all and tell each and every one of you how amazing your life and future will be. Before we begin, I would like to give thanks to all the people who gave my life meaning. First and foremost is to my lovely big brother, Dewey, a person who I have always looked up to all these years. Even though we are separate at times, I couldn't ask for a better brother. Thank you, bro. 
Second is to my grandma and aunt who wanted to attend my graduation. <laughs> but sadly passed away before they could. I have missed both of them dearly and I know that they'll be proud of me wherever they may be. Next is to my mom who gave me the love and care needed to be where I am right now. Lastly is to all the wonderful friends and teachers that I've had throughout the years. Thank you for staying by my side despite my nature and overflowing ego. <laughs> Words cannot describe the wonderful memories that I've made with those dearest to me. However, in an attempt to embarrass them, I would like to share some memorable moments I have had that will stay with me in the future. I can never forget the insightful conversations with my biology teacher, who goes on rants about the beauty of the Asian culture and the Asian community as a whole. I can never forget being trapped in a hot car with two of my lifelong friends outside a Pandan parking lot due to an engine malfunction. Good times. I can never forget the graceful dance I had with my chemistry teacher, Ms. Piles, who sadly retired last year. No, no further questions, please. These memories and more have made my high school experience enjoyable and meaningful. Thank you guys for the precious memories, and I will never forget you. Now that we've got the sentimentality out of the way, I'm going to be honest with you all. My opinions on the future can be summed up in this special analogy that I made. You see, the future is like my love life, a confusing mess of contradictions and dead ends. <laughs> With everything that has happened to us these past years, my optimism about the, f about the future has drastically decreased. Not that I had high optimi optimism to begin with, mind you. I have witnessed peers crumbling under the weight of societal pressures and expectations to the point that they needed to seek therapy. I have witnessed peers trying to contain their emotions, but ultimately collapse due to the sheer stress that they have endured. I have witnessed peers being betrayed and cheated by those they once loved. Now I know what you all have been thinking, Wow, Fought, you sure not to encourage and lift up our spirits. Way to go, Inspirator. And I would say to you, hold up there, Buckaroo. There is a method to my madness. The reason why I've been infesting you all with all these sobering thoughts is that I wish to pass on some advice that I had a tough time accepting myself, but advices that has helped me be more successful and will help you all succeed and prosper in the future as well. To the class of 2022 and to the people and loved ones that are watching us in the stadium, I cannot stress to you enough how important it is to be kind and considerate towards one another, especially in a time like this. I know, I know, it sounds cliche, but kindness really is vital to your success in the future. During the beginning of my high school year, I was, and still am, an inherently selfish and narcissistic individual. <laughs> I failed to value the the true worth of compassion, I weighed my own self-worth on the grades I made and the achievements I earned. This caused me to stress about the future. Will I be successful? Will I get the recognition that I deserve? Will I finally be able to imprint my name in history? However, I soon realized that all of these thoughts are meaningless in the end. When I was, when I was caught up in my own prideful journey throughout high school, I began to realize how empty and lonely I felt. It was only when I met a group of wonderful friends that accepted my faults that I learned a lesson that will stay with me forever. You can be an accomplished person and earn the greatest number of awards and trophies, but without showing kindness to others, you will never be fulfilled. What I'm trying to say is that you should prioritize showing compassion to those around you instead of being caught up in your own ambitions and self-interest. This, this lesson will be vital to your success in the future. My apologies for trying to paint a bleak picture of the future. But I want you to understand how important it is to be there for each other, especially in such a momentous turn in our life. Wherever you may go, whether it's to college, an occupation, or vocational training, I implore you to show understanding and compassion to your fellow men and women. The future can be rough, riddled with uncertainties and setbacks, but no matter what it may hold, never lose hope and stay compassionate. Because in a world like this, you can never really be prepared for the future. Thank you. Will the class of 2022 please stand at this time?
Dr. Jimerson and Burleson ISD Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Burleson High School, I hereby certify that these candidates have met all the requirements for the academic honor that is due to them. Under the authority vested in me by the state of Texas, and with your permission, I hereby confer upon these candidates the honor that is due to them and charge them with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereof, each in accordance with their academic standing. I hereby declare that they are now and forever Burleson High School graduates. Congratulations, faculty, staff, and students on a job well done. You may be seated. Dr. Jimerson, I invite you to address the Burleson High School class of 2022. I'm grateful to be here with you all today here at College Park. Students, your accomplishment we are celebrating here today is no small feat, and I'm proud of you. My wish for each and every one of you is that you continue to set high goals and relentlessly strive to achieve them. Even though this may be your final milestone in Burleson ISD, I hope this is one of many you will celebrate in your life. Thank you for sharing your gifts with us. We, your teachers, administrators, our board of trustees, and I, will be looking forward to hearing of your future accomplishments, and we will be applauding your victories along the way. We congratulate you, we commend you, and we wish you the very best this life has to offer. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jimerson. Candidates, would you please come forward as you are directed to receive your diplomas. Mr. Jeff Smith will call your names as you come forward. This year, diplomas will be awarded by our House Counselors along with members of the Board of Trustees. Introducing the Burleson High School graduating class of 2022, Audrey Sue Abbott. Hayden Christopher Adkins. Gilberto Miguel Aguilar, Jr. Juan Josiah Silva Aguilar. Savannah Elaine Alanis. Dayton Jacob Allen. Jaden Deshaun Allison. Tyler John Anderson. Kaylee Cheyenne Andrade. Jacob Charles Andrews. Hannah Elizabeth Arant. Danielle Madison Armstrong. Taylor Soteria Armstrong. 
Samaya Lynn August. Kylie Elizabeth Bacon. Daniel James Baker. Zandon Kyler Baker. Evan Mancini Baltazar. Trevor James Banda. Aiden David Bauman. Bo Lanham Bavasset. Stetson Archie Baxter. Bethany Lauren Beardsley. Marissa Jean Bell. Brian Colt Bergman. Heather Lynn Bickerstaff. Luke Hunter Birdwell. Emma Suzanne Bittner. Jacob Thomas Bittner. Clayton Jackie Blair. Hunter Adam Blair. Ella Grace Bleeker. Emma Elizabeth Bowers. Sydney Joseph Bowles IV. Colton Hank Boyette. Mallory Renee Browder. Katori Piper Bunton. Aquilin Matthews Burns. Noah Zane Caldera. Caleb Ashton Kalk. Grace Elizabeth Camp. Daniel Josiah Cardenas. Cade Michael Carlock. Cadence Elizabeth Ann Carnes. Colby Daniel Carpenter. Kennedy Avery Caruth. Kayla Michelle Carter. Sierra Dawn Carter. Mark Anthony Castaneda. Rainey Braddock Castillo. Kinsey Tara Caswell. Anna Catherine Cheek. Ashton Ray Clark. Zachary Allen Clements. Isaac Elijah Cleto. Caden Shea Cochran. Shakela Sheree Kofer. Trinity Lynn Coggins. Elan Tanique Shanae Coleman. Cameron Lindell Collins. Stormy Sky Collins. Emma Kahalini Alini Colston. I don't want to say it one more time. It's Emma Kahalini Alini Colston. Stephen Paul Comer. Ryan Alexander Contino. Alexis Pearl Cook. Lily Patricia Copeland. Zachary Thomas Copeland. Cedric Bernard Cotton, Jr. Aiden David Wayne Cowan. Jonathan Caleb Cranford. Brandon Lee Ryan Crawford. Brian Glenn Crawford, Jr. Kelsey Faith Cromar. 
Mackenzie Lynn Crow. Angel Daniel Cruz. Emiliano Miguel Cruz. Jonathan Jair Cruz. Blanca Rosa Cuesta. Jackson Christopher Cummings. Samuel Albert Curtis. Yash P. Dalal. Abby Morgan Daniel. Dallin Matthew Dart. Riley Ann Dobbinsbeck. Alyssa Jordan DeVault. Kaylee Christine Davis. Logan Ray Davis. Bell Ann Davis Hernandez. Luis Angel Del Bosque. Madison Grace Desmond. Tyler Scott DeSormier. Jordan Tyler Dixon. Colby Hill Dinwiddie. Irvin Divilich. Madison Kathleen Dodd. Spencer Conan Doyle. Colton Walker Duck. Patrick Garrett Depew. Emma Grace Dustin. Samantha Lynn Englehart. Ethan Lee Eubanks. Dylan Andrew Even. Alex Martin Falter. Tristan James Farley. Jonathan Hunter Fahili. Aiden Michael Fellers. Ethan Bailey Ferguson. Shamaya Linnell Fields. Haley Nicole Ford. Aiden James Fortner. Gage Walker Fox. Nolan Clay Freeman. Andrew Robert Fries. Emma Noel Fritz. Ace Sebastian Garcia. Macy Taylor Garza. Chloe Ann Gay. Eric Gayton Gonzalez. Rainy Marseille Gibbs. Anthony Wayne Gillespie. Faith Carolyn Gilstrap. Simon Keith Golubinski. Sebastian Gomez Garcia. Courtney Lee Gonzalez. Hayden Joe Gordon. Taylor Yvonne Gowans. Brianna Lynn Grabowski. Elijah Patrick Green. Lillian Amy Gregory. Isaiah Matthew Grijalva. Kylie Ashlyn Goodbauer. 
Courtney Damon Guy Jr. Alberto Guzman Espindola. Gunner James Haas. Kylie Marie Haas. John Isaac Hostra. Jatavia Lashanti Janae Headnot. River Farron Hagen. Adriana Luis Hall. Sierra Latina Lane Hall. Lane Michael Hammett. Levi August Hanslow. Keandre Harris. Kali Jo Ling Harris. Ricky Leon Harris Lewis III. Kaylee Janice Hedrick. Aiden Lee Hernandez. Ethan J. Hernandez. Herminia Hernandez, Jr. Joseph Anthony Hernandez. Alicia Andrina Hernandez Jimenez. Antonio Manuel Hernandez Vasquez. Alexandria Marie Hildago. Christian Xavier Hinguanzano. David Hunstein. Gavin Ross Huber. Landon Dakota Hutkins. Daniel Curtis Hall. Paradise Chilazuo Iguibike. Bentley Samantha Inocencio. Alana Leanne Irish. Quintlin Damonte Ivory. Bailey Justine Jackson. Christian Amore Jackson. Elissa Rose Jackson. Yuma Adrian Jessel. Mariana Patricia Jimenez. Cameron Enoch Johnson. Trinity Jada Johnson. Elise Nichelle Jones. Demarcus Devon Deshaun Jones. William Tyler Jones. Willie Josavius James Jernigan. Noah Enamon Chawano. Garrett Logan Kaiser. Joseph John Kamatakis. Trenton Lewis Kaner. Madison Grace Kenyon. Jarrett Kyle Field Kevill. Jaden Ahmad Kendalls. Hope My Kenny. Eleanor May Kirkpatrick. Sean Davis Knox. Brett Connor Kubiak. 
Introducing Rachel Ann Cutzler. Noah Everett Laird. Haley Paige Lambert. Madison Renee Land. Allison Sienna Laura Normandia. Matthew Braden Lauderdale Jenkins. Jonathan Jonathan Lee Jr. Jaden Tyshawn Lewis. Jordan May Lewis. Marissa Jewel Lewis. Olivia Jennifer Lloyd. Isaiah Scott Lopez. Fought Khan Lu. Caitlin Danielle Looper. Lisa Ma. Christian Pilateo Manabog. Parley Marble. Julian Anthony Marquez. Jamie Schuyler Martin. Adriano Anastasio Martinez. Elijah Ray Martinez. Dylan Michael Massingill. Ethan Cole Matthews. Levi Mason Matthews. Carly Ann Maynard. Jaden Jaron Mays. Jordan Burnett Mays. Ashlyn Victoria McCorkle. Ryan Paul McCullough. Mackenzie K. McNeely. Dylan Dwayne McMullen. Mia Cecily Meeks. Francisco Josue Menjavar. Meadow Leanne Milliken. Logan Taylor Mills. Ashanti Lynn Mitchell. Ashlyn Grace Molina. Phineas David Mall. Caleb Andrew Moore. Taylor Joe Moore. Amanda Judith Morales. Marley Elizabeth Morgan. Brent Edward Mortensen. Caden Hollis Morton. Justin Cade Moss. Meredith Jean Moulton. Arnold Mujita. Elicia Nicole Munoz. Joshua Angel Munoz. Elora Beth Navarrete. Braden Von Nikes. Victoria Marie Neal. Allison Faith Neubauer. Shane Wook Wynn. Janaya Cambry Mackay Nonsense. <laughs> 
Connor Reed Ogilvy. Veronica Marie Olmos. David Ryan Ondick. Riley Joel Osborne. Brooke Ann Pachetti. Adrian Young Padilla. Lindsay Michelle Paris. Elizabeth Marianne Parker. Brandon Jonathan Vincent Parrish. Trevor Daniel Parsons. Amaya Faith Patterson. Colin Mitchell Patterson. Haley Renee Pierce. Tatum Elizabeth Peevler. Pablo Palayo. Introducing Abigail Noel Peltier. Eddie Joe Pena the third. Garrett Michael Peters. Luke James Peterson. Caleb Michael Pierce. Alyssa Nicole Pittman. Annalise McKinley Posey. Gavin Bryce Posey. Blake Alyssa Preston. Maggie Dake Pruitt. Ashlyn Elise Prickett. Chance Max Puffenbarger. Isis Zandra Piles. Emily Shannon Quinn. Tara Marie Rochelle. Christian Aubrey Rader. Avery Abigail Ramirez. Caleb Hayes Ramirez. Christopher Ramirez. Alexander Ryan Ramos. Landry Rose Rangel. Nicole Renee Rangel. Carson Daniel Rains. Nathan Aaron Rees. Madison Page Regalado. Sarah Mizuki Richmond. Avery Brooke Riddle. Isaac Anthony Ring. Andrew Edward Rios. Caleb Andrew Ripley. Danielle Octavia Rivera Rodriguez. Annabelle Ellen Roberts. Xavier Isaac Robinette. Ali Marie Rodriguez. Zachary Thomas Rodriguez. Jordan Joseph Rome. Nicole Angie Roman Rete. Alex Christian Rosales. Alexis Angel Rosales. Kayla Nicole Rodhoff. Caden Ashton Royal. Damon Xavier Rubio. Frida Montserrat Rubio. Kaysen Michael Rubis Gibson. Matthew Robert Ruffner. Drew Michael Sines. 
Miranda Alyssa Saldivar. Giselle Alyssa Salmoran. Seth Turner Sanders. Nelson Patrick Sandlin. Chamnan Jim Songsvang III. Isaac David Salceda. Logan Patrick Yana Saul. Brecken Johanna D. Savoy. Jasmine Latajane Sales Collins. Rachel Elizabeth Scabbett. Cheyenne Ruth Schleck. Tyler Lane Scott. John Robert Sekakwaptua. Ethan Elias Sexton. Emily Nicole Schaefer. Brandon Anthony Shaw. Marlon Kathleen Shockey. Ashlyn Faith Ship. Mercedes Rain Siebolts. Corbin Randall Seifert. Crystal Kimora Silburn. Jaron Elijah Sims. Mercedes Slade. Grace Olivia Slater. Anastasia Marie Smith. Cheyenne Marie Smith. Matthew Hiles Smith. McKinley Renee Smith. Emily Michelle Smitherman. Audrey Karen Sneringer. Jorge Alexander Solis. Elizabeth Ann Sorensen. Chance Cooper Spurgeon. Anna Ryan Stabano. Mason Charles Stade. Rory Don Kyle Stanley. Jaden Shea Steffi. Ty Lee Steinley. China Jacol Sterling. Aiden Michael Stewart. Tyler James Stockton. Blaine Nathaniel Stokes. Paige Elise Stokes. Michael Evron Sumter. Caitlin Nicole Swaim. Tanner Alexander Seipert. Yubina Tella. Macy Blue Tebow. Cameron Bernard Thomas, Jr. Amber Marie Carolina Tibbetts. Mallory Reese Todd. Jada Don Thomasy. Kyle Andrew Tomchesson. Jamil Jasiel Torres Garcia. Tin Tin Tran. Brianna Alyssa Trevino. Gabriel John Trout. Kayla Trong. 
Adam Archer Underwood. <laughs> Rebecca Ann Valencia. Rachel Elise Vandiver. Tate Allen Vasquez. Allen Martin Vigil. Alyssa Marie Villavicencio. Addison Paige Walker. Riley Jewel Walker. Ronzu Avery Wang. Michael Joshua Washburn. Courtney Paige Watson. Jace Morgan Weeks. Braxton Payne Wells. Jasmine Aaliyah Wells. Brendan James Wendell. Noelle Elizabeth Wetzel. Mason Clay Whitehead. Leah Janae Wilborn. Madison Love Williams. Reese Keynes Williams. Armani Dante Williams. Brennan Gavin Lee Williamson. Blue Wilson. Amanda Louise Wise Pearl. Bryce Dylan Wishon. Abraham James Word. Logan Randall Wurzbach. Kiara Danielle Wynn. Jace David Ybarra. Landon Scott Harley Young. Devin Thomas Youngblood. Marissa Nicole Zabel. Victoria Zaragoza. Hannah Sophia Zavala. And introducing Landon Robert Zunner. Principal Lee, this will conclude the diploma presentations to the graduating class of Burleson High School 2022. All right, at the conclusion of this morning's ceremony, graduates will exit out of gate one. Guests will need to exit the building to meet their graduates. Thank you. At this time, I am honored to introduce to you Kylie Jo Harris. <laughs> Kylie Jo is the daughter of Wesley and Brandy Harris. Kylie Jo serves as a senior class president and has been a member of the student council as well as a member of the National Honor Society. Kylie Joe has also been a member of the Spirit of the Elks Band, as well as the Drumline. Also a member of the Health Occupation Students of America, as well as the Lady Elks soccer team. Kylie Joe will continue her education at the University of Texas at Austin in the fall. From there, she will study public health on the pre-med track. Please welcome Kylie Joe Harris for the closing statement and the turn of the tassels. Burleson High.
High School Elk graduates. While this marks the end of our times together, it also marks the beginning of a new life that is upon us. Each one of us has strived towards this goal for four years, and now it is finally here. Turning the tassel from the right side to the left side is symbolic of our achievement to this moment tonight. It is a transition from candidate to graduate. At this time, Burleson High School class of 2022, please move your tassel from the right side to the left side. As we move to the next milestone of our lives, we are now known as BHS Elk graduates. Now, I would like to introduce the 2022 to 2023 Senior Class President, Ashlyn Rebecca Adams, to lead us in our closing remarks. If you would, please join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we have gathered here today to celebrate this grand milestone for the class of 2022. We thank you for all of the special memories you have blessed these students with throughout their years at Burleson High School. We ask that you walk with them in the next chapter of their lives and provide them with support and guidance and hardships they may face. I pray that you bless these graduates and all those who have helped them reach this moment. We ask for both safety and protection in their future endeavors. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please join us, one and all, as the graduating class of 2022 leads us one last time together in the singing of the Burleson High School alma mater.
gentlemen, at this time we would like we would like to direct all guests outside to the Moritz Plaza to greet your graduates. Guests can exit the building from gates two, three, and four of the College Park Center. Thank you for attending today's ceremony and please drive home safely. gentlemen, once again, at this time, we would like to direct all guests outside to the Moritz Plaza to greet your graduates. Guests can exit the building from gates two, three, and four of the College Park Center. Thank you for attending today's ceremony, and please drive home safely.